Digital Dispatch. Let's not. Let's try that again. Oi, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Level of Digital Dispatch. My microphone is now on. That is something I'll do every now and then. <clears throat> Just forget to turn it on. We've got shit happening over here. What's going on over here? I've had a few technical issues today, but that's okay. I think we're above them, which is good. Camera's looking fine. It wasn't looking fine the other day. It was really looking bad earlier, and then it stopped working entirely. But, hey, it's working now. Uh, anyway, we'll probably have a new camera at some point soon. I'm pretty happy about Looking at, um, just let you know, a bit quick, quick news before we get started with the uh, game for today. Burkino Faso, Radical Surgery. Insurgency. But, yeah, um... Yeah, spent last night online window shopping and planning stuff and working out how to do stuff. And I'm really looking forward to going IRL. It's going to be freaking fucking awesome. So today, uh, what's happening today? We've got a game called Burkina Faso Radical in Surgery. It is a early access title. It's a single player tactical first person shooter. Say a Latin one breath. And uh, yeah, it's... Uh, on Steam, it's retailing at the moment for, let's have a quick look, uh, 1,200 yen, so what's that? That's like 12 bucks local money in Japan, which isn't worth as much as American money, so in American money, it's probably around about, I don't know, 10 bucks, Australia probably around about 11 bucks, maybe cheaper, don't know, but <laughs> in Japan, it's 1,200 yen, so that's pretty cheap, that's like an hour's work over here, um, so yeah. It's a little bit of research. It's got a five-man dev team behind it. There's the guy, the, the name of the company it's under is Leon Matthew Simanjuntak. I don't know how to say that. Simanjuntak or something like that. Leon Matthew Simanjuntak, I'm going to go with. And uh, he also publishes it. So it's a real homebrew. <clears throat> uh, haven't played any of it yet. I've started the game to make, just to make sure it works with... Uh, with, with, with OBS, and it pretty much did straight out of the box. Uh, it, I don't have to worry about setting it to... It, it's, it's default kickoff is borderless window mode, which is normally what I'm muck, making, what about, mucking, messing, messing around with, mucking around with to uh, to, to get the game stream ready. And so I haven't even done the keybind, I haven't the keybindings yet. In fact, yeah, I had a little bit of a walk around just to make sure it was all right, and that was it. And uh, yeah, that was that. Was that. Let's play it. Let's have a look. This is a Keymala stream. This is a game well given to me by Keymala to have to do a review of. Um, yeah, so, yeah, I don't get much choice in the games. But every now and then I'll give you some to have a look at, so why not? Every now and then. I, I got X4 from Keymala, so I'm quite happy. Uh, so, yeah, let's do another one. Let's check out what they gave me this time. Burkino Faso Radical in Surgery. Ladies and gentlemen, I give it to the now. Let's start. Start the game. Go, go, go. Digital Dispatch. All right. Close this window down. We don't need that. We don't need that. Uh, let's turn the captions on. Of course, it's, there we go. Close captions are now on. And uh, all that shit's all right to go. We're good. We're good. We're good. Just make sure the uh, shield's down. Yep, we're good. Okay, so. Kino Faso. Is the game coming through all right? Let's make sure we've got sound coming through the game. Yep, looks like we do. Okay. So, settings. Let's have a quick look. What it's kicking off on. I'm running a um, i7-6700K in a generic OEM SO5 E1 uh, MSI motherboard with a uh, NVIDIA GSX 1080 uh, and 32 gigabytes of uh, crucial RAM dual channeled which is the main specs, I suppose. I've got this installed on a HDD, not a SDD. I do that for a reason. Um, so I'm always putting games on and off. I don't want to kill me SSD doing it. And uh, yeah, we've got this thing set. So this is the, this is the, the, the settings that came out of the box with Epic. And we off. Through the resolution high, up highest. I'm going to leave it like that. So we'll see how it goes. Gameplay. Toggle crouch is on. So crouch, toggle, toggle aim. Aim is a toggle. I don't know if I like that or not. Let's take that off. Uh, Toggle crouch. Uh, well, 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 well. Let's turn that off as well. Toggle sprint. Uh, no. Toggle lean. No. I don't want to toggle it. I want to do it. Hold reload. 
mag check. Yeah, why not? If, okay, this is basic settings, uh, great gameplay. So yeah, keybinds have a good here. WASD, good. Shoot left mouse, right mouse, sprint left shift, left control, the crouch, good. Uh, I, I don't like having C to crouch, I like having having left control to crouch. Low ready. That's holding a gun in a relaxed state, I'm guessing. C, point aim. Point aim. Fuck knows what that is. That's probably some tactical shooter thing that I have no idea. Slow walk, stim heel, H, throw banger. Yeah! It's a real banger. G. Free look X. I like things that go boom. Uh, X. Free look X. That's pretty cool. Free look in a first person shooter. Left lean Q, right lean E. It's good. Check make, thumb mouse button. B. Select fire drop cam light C. Extra lean range. Left alt. Okay. When you really got a lean. Toggle laser T. Switch weapons 1 to 4. Show objective 0. F. Height. H. U. D. Okay. Huh. Audio, master volume, there's no music volume, sweet. So, let's press play. What do we got? Free play, training. I probably should go for training, but fuck it. Let's go straight for the campaign. Uh, no. <laughs> Not for a... Not for a first look, we're not gonna go for permadeath on a first look. Well, let's see how we go. Gonna need a cup of tea for this. Alright, we've got those next briefing. <clears throat> Approach table, interact, select a mission. Choose an equipped weapons from wall armory. Approach the gunsmith table to customize weapons. Approach the to okay. Customize your gloves much. Oh, I've got a mirror. Okay, so what we got? I'm in this place. Yep. Thing. Armory. Wrong button. Walk speed's pretty slow, but that's alright. Like I'll let loose. All these guns to choose from. If you're a gun nut, you probably love this. What's this? Oh, that was bad. What's that? That's a scar, I think. Probably. No? One, two, three, this one. Why well, could that one? Can't aim with it. I'm trying to aim with it. Just let me aim with it. All right. Which is the gun for me? I have no friggin' idea. Let's go. I don't know. Let's go with this one. Right, that'll do. All right, let's go with that one as well. I got that as well. I can. Okay. Do a knife or anything. Another gun. Is it a box? Why is it a box? I don't know. Well, it's not off the wall. I don't know. We'll scum. We'll with this one at the moment. It's got like sights and shit. Customize the weapon. Okay. Sight. Reflex. Increased ADS speed. Whatever an ADS speed is. Uh, aim point. That majorly decreases the ADS speed. Iron sights do nothing. Okay, you know what? I'll play Hell Let Loose. Let's go with Iron Sights. Of course, that's how I roll. That's got no negatives. Go with that. Flash between a guard line. Flash point. What's none give me? None. Why 
full penetration. We'll Let's take the recoil control. Okay. Under barrel. I'm not worried about reload speed. Okay, what we got here? A laser sight. Lasers! A flashlight. A canted sight. It's got a red laser sight. There we go. Bullet type. Okay, let's go with high bullet damage. There we go. Done. I have a weapon. Save loadout. Okay. Alright, how about the turn it off T? There we go. I remember the button. Go me. Okay. What's my next weapon? This one. Can I customize this here as well? I can. Look at that. I can customize this. Okay, let's make a look. It's not going to fall out. Alright, that does things. It goes quiet. Can't see it being that quiet though. I'm not too worried about suppressing gunshots. I'm not worried about lasers and flashlights. Doesn't make any difference except for damage. So okay. Unless the stats aren't showing me for some reason. Don't know. Okay. Um That must be my current loadout in those boxes I'm thinking. That looks like the gun I just did these are the guns I did up. This one's empty. Why is that empty? Can I carry a third gun? No. Right, what else? Got any grenades? Anything go boom? I want something goes boom with lots of shrapnel. Any grenades? Yes. I've got a vest, tactical vest, and military vest. Grab all the ammo we can take. Alright, let's take a little bit less ammo for the secondary. If I have to use that pistol, I'm in trouble. So we'll drop one back there. Okay. Okay, exit. What's the firing change, B? Firing sectors B, I think, like it is in Stalker. I read that right earlier. We have a shooting range. We can test fire these things. Yep, it goes boom. Alright. Alright, so that switches between my automatic. You can check the magazine, magazine looks good. There we go. Alright, let's get some more bullets in this thing, mate. Get some more bullets. Alright, did that give me more bullets? No, it didn't. <laughs> I get more magazines. All right, let's try this again. No, that didn't give me more bullets. How do I get more bullets? How do I drop the magazine? 
hit the escape button, check the settings, check the keybinds, check the buttons. No, okay. Well, I'm a few bullets down, but that's okay. I'm not too worried. It's only a test stream anyway. Let's. It's like I'm going hard. Oh no, oh, here I go. I can refill. There's me ammo. Is there grenades here? Oh, I've got these flashbang things, I think. I don't have any real grenades. Just sort of the, 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 the sparkly ones. No idea. Alright, let's go and check out this mirror thing. Where's the mirror? Where's this mirror? It says there's a mirror somewhere. This is the Ark. Oh, I can drink a soda. I, drink, I can't drink water, but I can drink a soda. There's no healthy option. What the fuck? No, I can't get out through that door. We've got an office here. We've got... So this is the room we're in. I don't see a mirror on the wall. Oh, here we go. That That is a mirror. It's just... Can't see myself very well. We're on epic, but I can't see myself very well. I don't think. Let's try to get a bit closer. I see myself. Nah, reflections are a bit lacking. Maybe there's a setting, but that light is showing on that. I don't know what's going on there. I can't see myself, so I'm not sure how to. Well, yeah, go for it. Let's go with the tactical gloves, because I'm fully tactical. The tactical watch, so I'm fully tactical. Oh, mate, I am looking tactical today. Very tactical. All right, exit. Not let me exit. Let me exit. There we go. Thank you. Okay. UI feels a little bit clunky, I must admit. That's the machine that goes beep. That's the photocopy we can sit on later on. I saw something flash then. Burkina Faso, war torn country containing terror cells with links to ISIS. Scorched desert, execute all insurgents and insurgent leaders linked to 2024 February attack. Alive, alive, alive. Hassan Ibrahim Isuf Nasir and Mohammed Hamza. I promise those names totally wrong. If I have, I'm sorry for my cultural insensitivity. So yeah, um, so we've got to choose a mission here. We've got blueprints for places that I probably can't really. Are they, are they the places? Are they the places for which mission? I don't know. Anyway, quick note on Burkina Faso. When I was a kid in geography, there was a teacher that we had a, a, we, had a, we, had a we had a predominantly male class. In fact, I think. By the end of the year 10, it was just males in the class. No girls at school wanted to study geography. And we had this teacher. And so we had a bit of an energy in the class because it was all blokes, which is really hard to get us to focus sometimes. You know, and so he was a good teacher. He got us interested. One you know, thing we, one, one place we were killing ourselves laughing once about a place called Ugudugu in Burkina Faso. We were trying to find a city name. That, you know, it was just funny, Ugudugu. He put it on the test for us. I'll never forget Burkina Faso's, the capital is Ugudugu because of that, that geography teacher. And uh, we all got that question right, surprisingly. Anyway, select a mission. Proceed with Operator Scorch Desert, war torn country uh, containing a terror cells, which links to ISIS. Scorch Desert, execute all insurgents. Okay. Start mission. Here we go. This is the game. Location, motel. Alpha team, we need control of the situation. Eliminate all threats and secure the area. Is it me, or does this look like somewhere out of GTA 5? The motel in GTA 5, anybody? Okay, I'm a tactical shooter situation. Tactical, tactical. I jump this car. I jump. No, I can't jump. I can't move very fast either. Oh shit! 
Komm hier. I probably should reload every five seconds. Herschel. There's someone above me. Some dude lying on the floor. I just know on the balcony. I see a door open. Changing mag. I'll stop reloading all the time. That is a that is a bad game habit. Evidence found. Securing. Copy that, Alpha Team. Continue That's with evidence. your mission. What's this? Tuna found. Tin tomatoes found. The gun? Can't pick that up. Look at this Matrix blood. It's floating in the air. If you're out there, Mr. Developer, that's something I recommend you fix. Plus, that weapon just is rolling all over the floor. Look at that. This is an early access title. I'm not going to go too hard. It has given me a jump scare already. A lot of games do not give me jump scares. I like it when they do. You've seen me play Fallout, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And, uh, yeah, this one definitely woke me up like a cup of coffee. Hell Let Loose doesn't give me jump scares. It gives me what the hell, laugh out loud, what moments, which I love. They're, they're awesome, but. Or, 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 or post traumatic stress disorder. <laughs> but this gave me a jump scare. I'm pretty happy with that. The game first kicked off, it's. Set the tone really well. Though I do not understand why I will be a tactical CIA operative or operative running around by myself in Burkina Faso. Plus I'm a white dude. I don't know how many white dudes there are in Burkina Faso. Hey buddy. I saw you. Where'd you go? He knows I'm here, but he, he withdrew. You can shoot through doors. <laughs> nice. That is pretty cool. You can shoot through the doors. <laughs> That's really cool. Any more evidence up here? I guess a no. Yeah, 
me shoot through walls. Oh. <laughs> Those curtains are pretty tough. I was pretty sure I'd shown through the curtains. <laughs> well, I hadn't, obviously. God knows what that says, but anyway, it's pretty serious. These guys must be bad guys, but look at what that says on the wall. Let's try a grenade thingy. It's a grenade again. It's a G for grenade. Throwing banger. Banger boy. Ah! Oh, I've been hit a few times. I think. Look, if you look at my body, I'm bleeding out. Patch myself. Patch myself. There we go. Look at that. I hadn't even realized I was bleeding out. Maybe because it was slowly getting darker, but. So they give me something flashing, but yeah, I hadn't realized that I was uh, bleeding out. Alpha team to Overlord. Area is safe and secured. Overlord reporting in. Evac is inbound and medical assistance is standing by. America. I did it. Alright, well that was short and sweet. It's pretty easy. I'm pretty happy with what I got. Of course, like, I'm used to it now. As much as something in that short time period. I've just sat down, so we're going to ignore that. I don't know about standing up now. I'm just going to ignore that. Do I have to reload my weapons? Let's find out. Laser off. Let's see what we got here. Reloading. I do need to reload. Stick the same gun because I'm a creature of habit. I don't need five flashbangs. Let's get rid of those. Can I add a plate? I can. All these plates. I guess I'm working, walking really slowly now, though. 78 pounds. I can't really test my running speed. That's my walking speed. Alright, let's try this again. Alright, let's try this again. Let's put this out. Now I'm on the carpet, yeah? Just on the carpet, you put up. On your marks! Get set! One! Two, three. Alright, let's put the plates on and see what happens. See that we've got lots of plates. Yeah, extra 51 pounds and a bunch of magazines, a couple more, and some stems and some flashbangs. Alright. No cheating. On your marks, get set, go! One, two, three. Maybe there's a little bit difference, but I can't really tell. But from walking, I don't feel like I'm a human tank walking around, so. Next mission, let's have a go. Somebody just did the motel.
gate, so what's this? Street and back door. I'll be the back door man. There we go. Overlord to Alpha Team. Turn that there light are off. a large number of insurgents present in the area. Proceed with caution. Throwing banger. Reloading. Now I can hear the AI moving. I heard a door. And drink a soda. I'm gonna drink lots of sodas. Not sure what the sodas do, but I'm drinking them. Can't drink the water, I'm pretty sure, but I can drink a soda. Okay. Two seconds to fix something up. There we go, almost go. There we go. Pull the gun. Pull it. Do not pull the gun fast enough. Oh. Well, I am deaf. As you can tell, I don't play many tactical first person shooters. I just play normal first person shooters. Ambient noise drop was pretty quick then. The audio. I check us out across the threshold, yeah? But you're probably better off getting ambient noise from Mogadishu itself if you can. Soundproofing is brilliant! See that? <clears throat> this is across the threshold. Are they the plans? Evidence found. Securing. Copy that, Alpha Team. Continue with your mission. Fight harder, soldier, or I'll fight hard. So I'll find someone who can. I wonder if there's like one dude that does all the voice for all the computer games. I am, man. I am. Heal. Don't know about the healing. I reckon it'd be better if you bled out a bit. You know what I mean? I, the healing's a bit for a tactical shooter, and I'm moving pretty slow. This is me sprinting. They're pretty slow on the draw. All 
Right, I'm going to start running and gunning it a little bit more. As much as I can run while gunning. Yeah, there's no one back here. Yep, let's keep pushing forward that way. <laughs> Alright, I got some little bars down there. Bat! How you going, brother? I hear a bad guy somewhere. Yeah, however, this is a five-man team, and it looks like one guy's, it looks like it's one guy's project that he then brought people in to help him out with, of course, it's the, the game developer and the publisher registered. What the fuck was that? Someone following me around, or am I following them around? Somebody else here, I don't know where he is. But yeah, the uh, game developer, publisher, name, the company name is the same. Um, and look, do a bit of research on the internet. Yeah, there's a five man team. You're under the stairs. There are people under the stairs. I know not where the last bad guy is. We came in through here. Yeah, oh, the cars for sale. Pretty cheap. 3510 bucks for a new car. That's Burkino Faso money too. So you get a good deal. It's an Aussie cash or Japanese yen. I think it's going to be through one of these doors. Oops, did it again. Oh, I know not where that. Whoops, wrong button. That's right. Get that sorted. Okay. Okay. Where this other dude is? The front. Here you are. Alpha team to Overlord. Area safe and secured. Overlord reporting in. Does it get more challenging is the question. I am in no way a trained special operator at, at, at that sort of stuff. In no way. I am absolutely in no way. I don't pretend to have any illusion as to that. You know, I've got a bit of an idea of Boy Scouts and moving through the bush and that sort of thing, but I've got no idea about... Uh, I can turn the light off on the gun, I can turn it back on again, there we go. But I wouldn't know when to use it, you know what I mean? It's one of those things. I... I, I I'm not a tactical operator at all in real life. Not at all. At all. I have no illusions about that. So, I was, but I've just gotten through two missions easily, and I was hip firing, running and gunning, and kicking down doors. So yeah, let's go one more mission. Let's see how we feel about this game. Before we get a rating. So one more. This is the first look, first playthrough, and uh. Yeah. Honest reviews. Well, the graphics are nice. I don't see anything wrong with the graphics. Um, barricaded insurgents. Front entrance. I'm not feeling dizzy Alpha or anything, which is good. We need control of the situation. Eliminate all threats and secure the area. No, I want to go home. I want to see what Burkino Faso looks like. Hello, Avon calling. I mean, you'd think if they were a 
terrorist cell, etc., they'd have people watch the front door, right? But I see no guards, and I just walked into the gate. Oh, I've been dropped off through the gate. Did a helicopter drop inside the gate? I don't know. So, you know, I, I just don't know about that. Something else I don't know about. Can they see my shadows walking across curtains? You know? Is, is that something they're, they're aware of? Darn flash. Like, where's the rest of them? Change your mag. No, where's the rest of them? There's a dude up there. I shoot some. Can I shoot through the walls? Can I blow up gas tanks? That's a question. Find out. Reloading. Switch the pistol for a bit. See the pistol guys. There are the plans. Oh, wrong accent. I'm American CIA. Can't sound like Mulder or Scully though. Just can't do it. Fucker! The jump scares are good. I gotta say, when the violence happens randomly, you're not expecting it. Bang! I'm not bleeding though. Let's bang a flash bang up there. Bounces this wall. Flashing him. Oops, I'm blind. I'm okay, I'm blind, but I'm not blind. <laughs> whoops. Whoops. It's pretty forgiving. I'm not dead. How am I not dead? That's pretty forgiving. He was right there while I'm aiming here. Spite the flashbang. And he wasn't using cover properly. And I'm not... Can I reload this thing? No, I think I'm out of bullets. Let's just go back to the first one. I think I'm out of bullets. I don't know, unless I'm a natural. I don't think I'll just survive this long. Uh, I don't think I'm a natural. Pretty sure I'm not a natural. Doing all this wrong, probably. Closing doors and shit after me, but... I think I probably bumped the mouse sensitivity up a bit. Hello! Yeah. You got me. The ammo? I don't know. I have 
haven't found the plans yet. Hearing two lots of footsteps upstairs. Taken out by a suicide bomber. <laughs> <laughs> mate! Mate! Alright. First playthrough. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been the first this will be the first look at a computer game. I don't Digital dispatch. I don't play these games to death when I when I view them. I I, I like to go on the, the initial feeling of how you go. First impressions are a big thing and uh, in, in, in gaming, yeah? Now, look at this game and I'm thinking to myself, okay, was it easy to get started? Were there any problems? There was no problems. I had no problems starting the game off. It was nice and easy. In fact, as a streamer, I have less problems than I normally do for games. Of course, as a streamer, you know, I'm always going for borderless window mode, set up so I can run the alt tab. I'm using one monitor. I, I'm always going for balanced CPU load, graphic settings, tweaking it so it doesn't go chop, 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 chop. And uh, like I said, when I first started this game, I had like two minutes in it. Because I, I loaded in so I could walk around. It wasn't choppy. It was all set on Epic. All right, I left it and I come back into it. This game's on running on Epic settings. It's a early access title with Epic settings. Now, I don't know if that means that they just haven't upped the Epic yet. I mean, there's Epic and there's Epic, right? So I don't know if they've up, haven't or if that's as high as it goes, but that feels pretty good. Um, next thing I think about this game is that it's a little bit slow. Tactical shooter, fair enough. Maybe it's supposed to be slow. I don't know. I'm not a like I said, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a SWAT guy or, 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 or you know, special forces dude. I'm just a gamer who likes playing computer games <laughs> and shooting virtual people. <laughs> so. So, yeah, so when it comes to running around and stuff, I don't know how fast you're supposed to be running in real life. Is, is this, but it, this seems to me like they're trying to go for that real life feel. The developer and his crew are trying to go for that real life feel. So, that feels good um, that they, they, they're doing that. I just don't know if they've achieved that quite yet with movement speeds and, and the way I can see what's happening. But, like I said, early access is a tweak. This game only came into early access. Recently, I think it was July 20. Let's have a quick look there. Was it July 20? Let's look it up on Steam real quick. Burkino Faso. Oh, B U R K I N O Faso. What have I done? Oh, how I spelt that wrong? This, this. There we go. I spelt it right. Let's try that again. Ah, let's grab it straight. Oh, no, there it is. There it is, found it. Okay, so let's see. Let's have a look. It says here it was released on the 10th of July, 2024. So this is a really, it's really new. It's gone to early access, 10th of July, 2024. Uh, so, yeah, they're obviously going to be still tweaking it. They have places to report bugs. Uh, they've been updating the game. So the developer looks like he's on it. They look like they're, 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 they're on it. It's not one of those games that they're trying to make a good buck out of. It looks like they're actually trying to develop this game. Mixed reviews. Okay, I can see why. I can see why it's mixed reviews. I mean, the 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 uh, things, little things like blood floating in the air and and uh, and the weapons that keep rolling off the edge of the room <laughs> to the wall and. Uh, I don't know. The enemy doesn't seem to be reacting like a human being would be. They don't feel aggressive, if you know what I mean. If I, if I was aggressively attacking your base, I'm pretty sure you'd be aggressively defending it. And yeah, fair enough, you'd be lying down somewhere, but it, or waiting in ambush spots. But 
in saying that that they were waiting for me to shoot. Sometimes it felt like they were there they were, and they were waiting. I don't know. I don't know. I was hip firing and, and I was using a pistol against I, I was using a pistol against guys with rifles, automatic rifles. So you would have thought that I would have been at the um, aiming down straight corridor. So you would have thought that I would have been at a disadvantage. So anyway, just this is my take on it. Um, so yeah, graphics are good. Apart from a few little things, the blood looks a bit like roses flying in the air, but it's, it's what it is. The jump scares, I gotta say, the jump scares, they were fun. Like, uh, they did get me. There were moments where it's like, whoa, where the fuck did you come from? You know, or whoa, you're there. Or just that feeling of, there's someone right there, you know what I mean? And that last one, that, 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 that suicide bomber, oh man. I mean, maybe don't play this game if that sort of shit's going to trigger you, I suppose, but. Wow, you know what I mean? That's like, yeah, you know, guy comes running out of nowhere. There's nothing you can do. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm quite, quite pre I've never seen that in a computer game apart from Fallout. Fallout has something like that happening, but I've never seen it. Or maybe Battlefield Two, where you cover the Jeep in C4, but that's a different sort of thing again. You know what I mean? So yeah, it's, it's, I've never seen that. No, this is the full game. I've got the full game. It's early access. So there's more. Do you want to see more? Do you want me to play it? Keep going? Have you seen enough? Or do you want me to see, do you want to see a little bit more? I can give you a bit more if you like. Let's give you a bit more. Digital Dispatch. Alright, let's try that mission again, yeah? Turn this bloody light off. Turn off the light. There we go. Ah, maybe get some ammo. Am I... Did I reload everything when I died? Yeah, I'll give it one more guy. We'll get one more, one more, one more crack. One more crack. I don't uh, wanna 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 play it to death. It doesn't make me wanna play it to death. I feel like doing like I don't know. It's a bit slow. Do you know what I mean? It's a little bit slow. I do prefer a game like Hell Let Loose, which is much more large scale. No. And that's multiplayer, single player, Fallout. That's that's large scale as well. Um, so yeah, let's go the back entrance this time. See what happens. Overlord to Alpha Team. There are a large number of insurgents present in the area. Proceed with caution. And turn this light out. Now well, that door opened, but that guy came from the right. No one's come down those stairs yet, but I know there's someone on those stairs. I mean, you think I'll be, I'll be sandwiched right now, right? You think I'll be... I think I'll be sandwiched, but I'm not. Like they're just standing there, you know what I mean? That's that that Reloading. bit's a bit immersion breaking, you know what I mean? Now what I'm supposed to do against the suicide bomber, I'm not sure. Well I stop an enemy right here. And 
one just over here. See what I mean? It's not realistic in that respect. I think the other AI might need a little bit of work. Here's the blood splatters that we see flying in the air. Gravity's not quite there. That. Reloading. I survived that. Is there another one? I survived that by standing behind a door. Okay, are there more of them? They're gonna do the same sort of shit to me? You notice I'm not bleeding? I'm still not bleeding. You know, I just wandered around the door. Um, that... That's... If I'm looking for criticism, that's where I'm going to be putting it. When I say criticism, I mean that in a constructive way. I can see that they've actually put some work into this game. I can feel they've put some work into this game. Like I said, I just think it needs some tweak and that's all. You know what I mean? The last time there's two dudes right here, right? There we go. Last time there was another bomber dude. He came charging around that wall there. See the smoke trail comes off the game. We got the gun, gun smoke. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna ammo. I've killed them all. Maybe not. Are these the documents? <laughs> uh, we've got some real people. Oh, look at that. Hey, look at that. We've got a few things there in the computer game that might trigger a few people, so just be aware. This is a mature stream, but... Yep, yeah, we've got a few things happening in this game that are pretty full on. Thank you, Twitch, for giving me this to review. Uh, sorry, thank you, Keymail, for giving me this to review. Changing <laughs> so, <mag. laughs> anyway, I didn't know that was going to happen. But, yeah, this, oh, I am a little bit sensitive. I'm not too unsensitive. You know, I'm not totally insensitive, I should say. <laughs> yeah. What else we got here? Securing evidence. Copy that, Alpha Team. Continue with your mission. Alpha Team reporting. All insurgents eliminated. This is Overlord. Choppers are inbound for your extraction. I wonder how many missions there are. We've done what? Four of them? Three of them? Have a quick look. And his light keeps coming on. I don't turn the light. What is this? Faulty light. So we killed one boss. We've got two more bosses. There's one, two, three. We're three into it.
people to <laughs> to save people to shoot. So I, we've got space on this board, so I'm guessing that there'd be like another place here, here, and here for the next little enemies you unlock, maybe. There's two more spots here. Maybe you get unlock, 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 kill, 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 unlock somebody on this spot, maybe. I don't know. I'm just guessing. It's a, it's a lot of space on that board, considering they've got room to, to, to do things with the mission upgrades. Um... I don't know how you go with Central Intelligence Agency, United States of America, in your game. Because, I don't know, is it, wouldn't there be some sort of, what do they call that? Is, is, Central, is, is the CIA Creative Commons? That's my question. Is it Creative Commons? Are you allowed to throw their name around? I don't know. But, you know, maybe they are. Maybe it's, you know, maybe they are. So, yeah. Um, Marika, can we go down the stairs over there? I'm just, I go downstairs. Can't get past that suitcase. Not that well trained enough to get past suitcases. Garbage bin. It's down these stairs. Explode. Soda machine, phone. A document. <clears throat> All right, highly classified, Feb 23, 2024, regarding Operation Scorched Desert, by CIA director to the U.S. president, just lying here on a coffee table next to the soda machine. Operation Scorched Desert is a go. Our intelligence has led us to an African country called Burkina Faso. There is a large number of ISIS Islamist radicals that residing in this country. And they are armed. We will hunt down every single ISIS leader responsible for this attack and deliver vengeance for the barbaric and savage February 9th attack on United States soil. So there you have it. Hey, eh? Loose security <laughs> protocols. Lucky I'm not one, the janitor. <laughs> eh? Lucky I'm a trusted dude. So, is there any people under the stairs? Look at that. If I could go... Mate, there is a... There is a tribute right there. Smokey, aka Swaz. Best friend, funny person, epic game dev. If I would go back, I wouldn't change anything. Best friends forever. Nice. It's got an Easter egg. Nice. 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 I don't know who that person was to the people on the dev team. But it's nice that you did that. So, yeah. What else have we got? More CIA stuff. So you can see that this is a game made with love. Highly classified, rally operation. Scorched Desert by General Smith to SOG operators. Shoot a house, pause, training sessions. Train as hard as we can as our times ahead will be challenging and test us. Do not underestimate our foes for safety and peace of our country. God bless America. America. Shit. Oh shit. Sorry, that was me. I just went in, but I can't see my gun. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Changing mag. America. And, all right. So yeah, that's the game. It's the game. That is the game. Let's just jump back in again. Digital dispatch. I might leave that other mission, Cody. I might leave the other mission after doing that little run around and seeing things. I might, might put it there. Um, but yeah, that is the game. That's the game. I think if they 
keep going with it, they'll have something good. I think if they tweak it a little bit, it'll be better. But little things like like this, like um, like uh, I'll show you this again. Just this thing. Digital right here. dispatch. Where are we? Here, gun. Ready? Watch the end of it. See the smoke coming. Out? You don't get that in many games. You know? You don't get that. So, oh, excuse me. So. There we go. So, that's why I set my mute button. <laughs> so, this game, how do I feel about it? How do I rate it? Well, I'm thinking, uh, top of my head, it's not a game that I've, uh, well, one's the absolute lowest that's impossible to get. Sorry, I'll say it again. Zero. Zero is the absolute lowest impossible to get. And ten is the absolute highest, the peak of perfection that's, in, you know, impossible to get. And considering I've got the way I've been rating games on this channel. And I can see why it's got mixture of views. Though I've been, I'm thinking that the mixture of views aim towards the slightly positive versus the slightly negative. You know what I mean? There's not many glaring things um, that, that jump out of you. Like game crashing to desktop giving you a blue screen of death. Uh, uh, game freezing, uh, stuttering, I mean I'm using an older system, I'm playing on an older system and it's running fine, uh, the graphics are fine, a uh, few little things there but we've already mentioned those, the blood and that, uh, the AI needs some work, you know, maybe even use a real AI, because it doesn't seem to be using many resources on my box, so if you could put a real AI onto that and train it though, if that AI ever got free and made itself into a robot or the internet we could be in trouble with. You know what I mean? You know, having having a, 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 an AI that's uh, a bit more developed would be good. Um, what else? That would be good. What else am I thinking? I'm thinking the jump scare moments are great. The guns sound good. I mean, to me, I've only ever fired rifles, you know, and so I can't really comment on semi-automatic and fully automatic weapons. I don't know the exact sound supposed to be like. I can ask somebody, but yeah, that does know, but um, yeah, to me it sounds all right. As a computer game, it sounds fine. Uh, I think the the biggest thing would be the AI. I think that would be the biggest thing to, to work on. Would be the AI that oh, I can forgive the blood float in the air a lot more than I can forgive an AI that doesn't react naturally. You know, no matter how well trained you are. You know what I mean? It, and it, it still felt like robotic, you know, in what it was doing. It just didn't feel like it was it was taking the shots that it could have taken. And I don't think... And in this game, too, I'm also thinking it's good that it doesn't say choose a level, beginner, expert, hard. I'm hoping that it hasn't doesn't scale. I'm hoping it doesn't. I'm hoping that when you jump in, that the level that you start off is the level that you finish at. Because I'm hoping it gets to the point where... The game comes to the point where, because this would be good, and I'd, I'd play it, I think, and, and feature it, I think, if you got to the point where, you know, a lot of missions, AI reacts differently every time, AI reacts intelligently every time, AI is aggressive or defensive, majorly on, on each, on the scale, you know what I mean, like, obviously aggressive, obviously defensive, um, but yeah, AI acts naturally, like a human player would, you know, like a human would. That's 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 the big challenge, I suppose, is to make it act like a human would. The, the speed of the game felt a bit slow, but then again, the speed of the game being slow also opened itself up to creating those jump scare moments, like when I was suicide bombed. Almost got that happen twice, or when some dude you know, appears in front of me suddenly and it's like, "Whoa, where did you come from?" You know, that 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 that, that, that were good. I had I had like three of those moments in this in this in this short playthrough, which is. Yeah, that was pretty good. You know, I actually enjoyed that. <laughs> Thank you, Game Dev, for doing that. That's where my my surprise face comes from in my in my emote. So <laughs> those moments like that. <laughs> so yeah, that was good. Um, so yeah, I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I'm gonna give it a six and a half out of ten on the JCMS TV scale of excellence. Six and a half out of ten, and uh, yeah. So yeah, it's sitting right there. I should make a little table and put them all up, and, uh, and 
I will do that. I will do that. Let's put that down. Make a table. Make a table. So you can go back and revisit some of these games in the future and see how they've performed, how they've been developed, where they're at. There's a few games I reviewed ages ago that got zero. This unattainable. And that's because you couldn't play the bug and thing. So I have given zeros out even though... But then again, it's not a game. <laughs> so so it'd be interesting to go back and revisit some of those as well. So, But this gets a 6.5 out of 10. I'm quite, yeah, 6.5 out of 10. Write that down. 6.5 out of 10. We will get the table happening, I think. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching Digital Dispatch this afternoon. My name is Slake. This is JCMS TV. It is a uh, project of love. Uh, just like the uh, just like the uh, game we just reviewed today, Bikino Faso, Radical Insurgency. It's on it's on Steam for around about twelve bucks. It's one thousand two hundred yen here in Japan. It's gonna be whatever it is in your local currency, wherever you are. Uh, congratulations to uh, Mr. I'm assuming this is your real name, Mr. Leon Matthew Simanyantak. I think you're on to a cool project and. It was a nice touch of personalization to have that Easter egg underneath the stairs for people like me that, that run around looking for stuff like that and one that had a, um, like, obviously an emotional connection to your team, you know, to you and your team. So, yeah, that was good. That was, that was like an endearing aspect of the game. You don't get that many first-person shooters, something's endearing, you know, so that, that was cool. Um, so, yeah. There is a download for this if you want to play it at home. There's a download available, free download on Steam for the demo. So go have a look at it if you're interested. Uh, like I said, it's not finished yet, you can tell. But by the same token, he works on it, or they work on it. Uh, let's have a quick look here at some of the comments we've got in the, in the, in the, in the reviews that other people have made. Uh, Dev is busy updating. Check my my big setting. Okay. Customizations. They were good. We did the customizations. That was fun. I didn't play around with it too much. I just played around with it to where I wanted to. Um, so yeah, I don't know enough about gun customization. It's the other comment on that, so I didn't really want to go any much much further with that. Um, you know, I'd hope there'd be if they got all these sites and stuff, but it would have been nice there was like a bit more break up in the activity like go into building and clear place and get documents like a sniping mission would have been fun you know um, or a you know a, a, it's like driving missions and shit but yes a, a, a sniping mission would be fun but then again like I said I'm a first person shooter player I'm not a tactical simulator guy so but sniping would have been fun. I mean, you got all those scopes and shit in there and silences and assassination. You know what I mean, though? Why give me access to 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 these these scopes and and these and silences and these 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 weapons that are obviously, you know, able to do so much more than be used for in house. I mean, SWAT uses pistols and stuff inside a house too, right? But you got pistols and you got rifles. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but you know. It's just one of those things. It looks like the weapons that are in the game could be used for bigger, more epic situations. Uh, anybody? Let's just another, another good review. Uh, temp expectations. Ten bucks all the access. There we go. Made by five people. Yep. There we go. So it, it is that. Uh, is for that it's good value. It may be all the access, but it's just too early access. I can understand that. Yeah, this person's talking about the AI. AI is terrible. Can barely navigate around the map with some clicks as well. Guns like a joke. Well, I don't know about that. Uh, uh, this is the game. This is from the 18th, 16th of July. This is like four days ago. I've lost big. Computer. It's not a player character mission structure. Uh, it's only here. The Overlord speak. I imagine the edgy adult speaking through the game microphone. Trying to sound tough. Okay, so here, here's an interesting one. When people start saying. Things like an edgy adult, then who are you? Are you an adult? No. I didn't pick up any edgy vibes from that. I got it. it just sounded like the same battlefield command you have in every computer game. So I, I wouldn't take that personally. 
This review goes pretty tough. Uh, as a $10 katana hangs above his computer. Motherfucker, I live in Japan. And, you know, you can't just say that everybody that, you know, is, is an adult. <laughs> he talks a bit edgily. I speak a bit edgily. It's just the way we grew up. <laughs> you know, has a $10 katana hanging over the computer. I don't. I live in Japan. I, I don't know. That, I don't know. That just seems like a bit... You know me. I'm all for saying things honestly and giving criticism. And if it's... If I... Deserves a beatdown, deserves a beatdown. I don't think that that deserves a beatdown for this game. I think it's quite good. For what it is, it's quite good. Bare bones, next next one. Yep, no worries. Most of the reviews are positive. Movement collisions awful. Okay, fair enough. Mind you, the doors were pretty cool. I like that you could open the door if it was open. Um, and you could also actually open the door and, and click it open and shut. It'd be nice if you could kick the door open, maybe. Or, or you know... Uh, have to unlock the door and then actually use the force of your body to open it or have a hand animation playing to open it or something like that. You know what I mean? How you going to open the door? I think the little details are where this game is going to shine at some stage in the future. If they can just nail down all the little details. You know, someone complained about the guns. Well, make the guns sound better. You know what I mean? Um, someone complained about collisions. Yep, fix that. Uh, we picked some of that up already, you know. The blood spatter. I don't think that, yeah, I don't think that it's a bad product at all. It didn't crash my computer. I've had no crashes, so I'm happy with that. So, yeah, Lady Demon, that's that. 6.5 out of 10. I'm going to stop waffling on now because I'm waffling too much. And, yeah, let's just jump into this. Give me two seconds. Go to a couple quick shout outs, because I always do to shout out people in the community that are out there in internet land. The latest round of shout outs has been happening. I'm going to give a shout out to this gentleman right now. His name is Your Chopper Pilot. He popped up the other day when we talk first person shooters and games that involve war and shit. He's one of my favourite people to watch. He is a very good Chopper Pilot in a few games. That's why he's called Your Chopper Pilot. And I've seen him in action. He's very good. So, as you mentioned, I present thee with Your Chopper Pilot. Except he's not in a chopper at the moment. You don't kill me a hundred times, you stupid. Tree Sentinel? God damn. Holy. Holy, holy. Holy God. Oh my God. Oh. No triple. Fucking digits. No triple digits. Woo! Woo! <laughs> oh. Nice work there. You look pretty happy. Next up, we got JD777 underscore three, my gaming buddy for the last, I don't know, 20, 30 odd years. Shit, it's getting up there. It's about 30 years now. We're almost 30 years. Internet makes gaming. But yeah, this guy is uh, not an affiliate. He could be. He's not sponsored. He could be. He doesn't take any money for his stream. He could. He's a Souls-like champion, and he's very humble. You can't even raid his channel. He doesn't even allow raids. Yeah, if you want to see JD Drop Seven, you have to go find him. And uh, yeah, let me just let you know where to look. The good thing I like about this rifle is it's got high velocity, meaning it doesn't have a lot of bullet drop at long distance. I was gonna make a joke about that. I nicked him in the air. <laughs> the Trump shot. I did that. <laughs> Next up, we've got another dude that I've met recently. He makes videos, and I love watching videos that people make for games. It's a shame Machinima closed down. Uh, 
uh, it's uh, an art form, really making something out of something else. And yeah, Machinima, it's pretty cool what that happened. And the Machinima.com closed down. Machinima is, is making something using the machine, yeah, using the game engine. And uh, Machinima.com was the place that presented that stuff, and it went on to YouTube. This is this is back before before YouTube. This was just the TV and ear up. And uh, yeah, when we all had our own little websites, we go and hit up. And this it was a good one. But, uh, this guy makes some gym pieces. That's my clip. I, I clipped that as well. That's entitled. That this is where baby starships come from. <laughs> that was me. Anyway, I just felt like one of those videos you saw back in grade seven when I'm trying to teach you the birds and the bees. Little trains flying up the There we go. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's that in a nutshell. We're going to raid out. We're going to go and have a look at the series online real quick. And a quick look to see who we got online. Let's just get ourselves ready for that. To see who we got online. Let's just get ourselves ready for that. Really grateful to everyone for dropping in with me today. No, got a no workers, mate. I'm gonna raid. Who we going Who we gonna raid? Let's have a look. Who we got online? That we're gonna raid. Let's give a raid to. Who we got? Following. Who's on my following list? Let's have a look there. Someone who doesn't need. The numbers? No. We need someone who needs the numbers. Someone who works out their stream. They're on my following list. They're probably my shout out sheet. I've got a long following list these days though. And yeah. No, I don't want videos. I want live. There we go. Uh, let's scroll down to the numbers at the bottom. Okay. Who have we got? What games do we have? Do we have a first person shooter game? Who's playing a first person shooter game? We've got uh, Valorant. We've got. Hmm. Alright, we're going to go with Spariel, I think. We're going to go with Spariel. Ladies and let's raid Spariel. He is a low budget streamer having a crack at the streaming game, and that's why I backed up on my list so I can keep an eye on to see his progress. He's from India, so yeah, let's give him a raid. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today, I really appreciate it. You are awesome. I want to say thanks to Bat and Cody as well for your continued support of the channel. You guys are absolutely awesome. Um, I'm probably going to be streaming again a little bit later on, because I've got the day off work tomorrow. So I'm thinking I might have a game at X4 a bit later on, or maybe and try some a few things out. Maybe tomorrow. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, we'll see how we go. I'll let you know if I do an impromptu stream. Though I'll, I'll reach out. And uh, yeah, for now let's just raid out. Go on, raid Spariel. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much once again for hanging out, and we will catch you on the flip side. Start the countdown now. Say good day when you get there. He's gonna go one viewer. He'd appreciate it. Rock and roll, and uh, have yourselves a great weekend. Awesome, thanks Bat. Chat soon. And countdown! Yo, just call me Slay.